Ah. How nice of you to look in, Chief Inspector. You know, prison is a lot more comfortable than I ever thought. You say what you've got to say, Mr. Lacey, and get on with it. I want to go home. Oh, aren't you, Mr. Comedy? If you want the truth, Mr. Lacey, I've had you up to here. And if you want to know the truth, why don't you talk to Judith Lesseter? What? Well, you're in such a hurry to drag me off yesterday, you never asked me where I was. You said you were painting. Yes, but I wasn't alone. I was doing a portrait of Judith Lesseter, the doctor's girl. She was with me from mid-morning till about seven o'clock at night. Why didn't you tell me this at the time? Well, you and the Cape Crusader here never gave me a chance. So, can I go now? No, Mr. Lacey, you can't go now. You can go when I say you can. It better be true. Yes, I was with him. He was doing my portrait. You never told me about this, Judith. Why should I tell you? He only did the first sketches, but they took all day. He said I had a wonderfully complicated face. He's a surrealist, is he? Think very carefully, Miss Lesseter. Mr Lacey was apparently seen in the village just after four. He wasn't in the village. He was at Holly Cottage with me. And since everyone's always picking on him, you might as well know he was there the night Emily Simpson died, too. How do you know that? Because I went to see him. I spoke to him through the door. He wouldn't let me in because he was painting, but I heard his voice. You've been seeing quite a bit of him. Is there uh, something that I ought to know? What? Something like you and your Miss Whiplash? Or Barbara and all her boyfriends? No, Dad, no. There's nothing you need to know at all. The thing about Judith is that she never quite got used to my remarriage. It hasn't been easy. That test match you told us about, Dr. Lesseter, last Wednesday, there was no test match. Ah. Yes, well, she's not exactly a Miss Whiplash, but there is a lady that I... Uh, you see, Barbara's a bit short rations in that department. And that's where I was. I've got her address, if you want. Thank you. I don't know how Judith came to know anything about it. It's, it's all rather... Uh, Yes, it is. Shocking. Thank you, Dr. Lesseter. God, what a family. Do you think the girl was telling us the truth, sir? Yes. In fact, I think she might have told us more than she meant to. I suppose that means we'll have to let him go, Michael Lacey. Not yet, Troy, not yet. We find the knife at the cottage, we arrest him, but he knows he didn't do the murder, and that the knife was planted, so... Why did you run away? Did you see his face when you found that knife? Yes. He was shocked. Oh, shock, yeah. Then panic. He made a run for it. But when we put him in the car... You've got it all wrong, Chief Inspector. All wrong. He was relieved. Relieved? Why? Why did he run away? Unless there was something else, something here he didn't want us to find. Nothing. Exactly, Troy. But yesterday, there was something. Painting. 